Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to share with you guys one of my first flip throughs in a while. A lot of you guys have been asking to see BJU Math 4. This is the fourth edition. So if you're looking to get the newest one, make sure you look at this like left corner right here. And then it's definitely a lot more modernized. I feel like the math book looks very different than what the other ones have looked like. So we're excited to get into it. My daughter's been using a little bit of it and I put like the pages that she's done in here. I'm gonna tell you the table of contents. The table of contents are not really in um, here. I took a little screenshot of the teacher manual, which I probably need to get this year. So I might just um, get the teacher manual this year. I haven't gotten it. A lot of you guys ask me. I haven't gotten it from preschool all the way to third grade. So if you want some more additional practice or you need to learn how to teach your kids certain concepts um, and you are not comfortable teaching like fractions, multiplication, decimals, division, and everything like that, then I would highly recommend the teacher edition. A lot of people tell me that it's very helpful. I just haven't seen the need for it until maybe fourth grade I might do it. We'll see. It's about $83. This um, textbook here is about $25, $30, I think. So the first chapter they're going to talk about I think you guys can see it. <laughs> Place value and money. Second chapter, addition and subtraction of whole numbers, fractions, multiplication, and division facts, decimals, multiplication with one digit, geometry, division, data and graphs, measurement and time, two digit multipliers, fractions, addition and subtraction, metric measurements, division with two digits, geometry, three dimensional figures, and pre algebra. That was definitely a mouthful. <laughs> okay, so this is what the inside of it looks so like. The first chapter, they are talking about designing your dream bedroom. So STEAM represents science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So you read that. And then they had her learn how to write her own check, which I think is very valuable because, you know, writing a check is something that they should be able to do and, um, like balance the checkbook, reconcile things. So that is cool that they did that in here. Um, this is the STEAM activity. It said write the order of your purchases from least to greatest and do the check. And then they had a few questions about it and how to keep within a budget and all that stuff. So it was a really good way for me to explain to her of how to keep within a certain budget. They're going over hundreds and tens and one thousands. So, um, so here they were talking about place value for millions. And it was something that you know, they had to write out in the standard form, expanded form, and word form. So she's pretty good at it, but it took us a little bit to get, um, to understand it because there was no, like, real lesson that I taught her. I kind of showed her. So we went over the same page and corrected everything that she did. So here are compared numbers, and then that's where we got to. So putting the numbers in orders, round the numbers, and then they get into decimals. I know we skipped this, um for her third grade year so I did show her how to do decimals in the summertime just very like brief just so that she has an idea then they went over uh, counting or they're going over counting money which is good giving back change renaming numbers and then they always do at the end of the chapters a chapter review so this is just an example of the first chapter and then um, the reviews are great just to make sure as a teacher, like you want to check that to see if they're, you know, understanding all the concepts that they've done in the first uh, chapter. So here is chapter two. This is the STEAM like activity. So it is the estimation destination. And then here are all of the questions for it. And then here is the additional properties. Let me see, get my little cheat sheet here. So, so addition and subtraction of whole numbers. So this is something that is a little different they're adding up like more than one number but it is a lot of review but it gets like harder right away because that's just two digit numbers and now they're getting into 28,518 so they're gonna be carrying over so then they're adding money two to three digits subtraction so this is a lot of review but I think it's definitely worth you know going over this chapter with them if it's something that you feel like your kids need help with and then now over here they're doing like basic algebra where they're doing 65 plus B equals 100 and BJU always does that. I appreciate that about them because they do very simple algebra and I try to go over it with my daughter um, because I know when I was in school algebra kind of like made me a little nervous <laughs> but it's just introducing a little to her and her younger age and elementary is really great. So there's word problems 
and then there's the chapter two review. So third chapter, I'm gonna look at my cheat sheet, is fractions. The STEAM project is building a desktop cell phone holder with Legos, so that is so cool. They give you like a little tally graph sheet over here to do it, and then it's really neat because it gives you like examples of fractions. So one of one eighth, one fourth, one over two, half, and then a whole. They're gonna be doing the little um, number line, which I like. I love all the visuals because I'm a visual learner. So BJU really, really helps me teach them. So if I just look ahead um, in the next chapter, I could figure out what they're gonna be going over and I could pretty much teach them the basic elementary math <laughs> and try my best. If I have issues, I'm gonna definitely get the teacher guide. Um, and here's another activity country fair. Chapter four is multiplication and division. I'm just going to go through this really quickly. They have groupings, multiplication by 12. Then it gets a little harder. They have parentheses where you're going to be doing um, the multiplication in the parentheses first. Then you're going to add the number. So that is really great. The missing factor. So that's like basic algebra. And then the review. Chapter five, they're going over decimals. So that is something that we'll definitely need to go over with her. And then let's see what chapter six brings. But I love BJU. BJU is great. Um, I've been doing it for such a long time with my kids, as you know, since preschool. So I really believe in this curriculum. I really love it. And I love the fact that I could be so flexible in our homeschool and do teaching textbooks along with this. So it makes it more fun for the kids. There's another teacher teaching her for teaching textbooks and my son, and then I'm teaching them BJU. So it's nice to have like independent work and then have work where, you know, I'm teaching them and then they, if they get the concept pretty quickly, then they can do it on their own. And then I usually check all the work. Now, since I don't have the teacher guide, I don't have all the answers. So I have to do them in my head. So if you're looking for something quick and easy, you need to get the teacher guide book. So I would highly recommend that if you are, you know, you don't have time on your hands to, to do the, the answers in your head, I highly recommend that. So chapter 16, multiplication, one digit multipliers. And I'm trying to save money too. I think that's another thing. If I'm not going to use a teacher guide, then I just, I can easily do it, you know, and check her work pretty quickly. But if I have like five kids doing BGE math, I would love to have a, a teacher guide. <laughs> Chapter seven, they're doing geometry plane figures, and this is the uh, STEAM activity. And those are all the questions. So there's some writing in here, which I think is cool. My daughter's like, mom, why is there writing in here? This is not my language arts program or language arts curriculum. I'm like, uh, you have to write. <laughs> in life, you have to write, right? So there's no easy way out. All right, so circles, they're talking about diameters and radius. That's very, very good. And then they're gonna do a review. Now we have done some of this in teaching textbooks where we've gone over rays and parallel lines and right angles. So it's nice how there's like different like curriculums touching on different, you know, concepts for math. So chapter eight division for one digit divisors and that's the activity. And then, so I really love the way they do this because you know, it's been a long time since I've done fourth grade like math. <laughs> so it's nice how they do that, how they do it visually here with the 10 bars and the ones. And um, they just look at that example. And I taught her how to do division this summer. And so that's where she's at. And then I showed her the remainder as well. So it's nice to show that there is a remainder left over by using the bars to like visualize it. And if this is like too much for you and you just don't know how to teach your kids these certain concepts, which is, um, you know, if you don't have time to try to figure this all out, the teacher guide again. So a lot of you guys have said, I have the teacher guide and I love it. Why don't you have the teacher guide? So I'm just lazy and cheap. <laughs> so chapter nine is the data and graphs. So my daughters, my daughter and my son, they love doing the line graphs and the bar graphs. And these are a little different. This one's a, um, another graph that we've not done before. Very, very cool. I remember doing this as a kid. All right, so that is a fun chapter. She'll like that. She really loves those chapters. <laughs> Gives them a little break, right, from division and multiplication. So chapter 10 is customary measurement and time. Now my daughter's still trying to memorize her multiplication facts when we were evaluated for her third grade year. Um, that was one of the things um, that the teacher said, you know, make sure she, you know, tries to memorize her multiplication. Um, so that's definitely something if you're looking into a fourth grade book, 
and your kids, you know, haven't memorized their multiplication facts, that's something to work on. You can get flashcards at the Dollar Tree or at Dollar Tree. You can um, get the Good and the Beautiful multiplication one that we have. She hasn't really been using that one, but I think flashcards will do it. I mean, that's what we've been using. And there's a lot of fun, like, games online on Amazon that you can get that helps with math. And I was thinking of getting some of those um, soon. So chapter 11 is multiplication by two digits. And that's what it looks like here. And I like how they have like the graph paper. And I like how they have like those missing numbers in here. So they give you some of the answers to kind of help you out with a long like multiplication problem. Origami design for chapter 12, fractions, additions, and subtraction. I'm gonna try to go a little bit quicker because this video is going very long. But I want you guys to see like what they have. Like, so STEM, or not STEM, STEAM at the beginning. Then they have the activity. You go through the chapter. They review stuff with you at the end of the chapter. So that is basically what the chapter looks like. 14 is division two divisors. So they're doing two digit numbers against, you know, three digit numbers dividing by 10 or multiples of 10. And then over here, chapter 15, I hope I didn't skip anything, is geometry three dimensional. So here's what it looks like. BJU is really, really great, guys. I love it. I know a lot of people are using the Good and the Beautiful program um, curriculum, and I think that a lot of people like it a lot. So there's so many great curriculums out there. There's Mammoth Math um, that my friend uses. She loves it for her kids. Like two of my friends use Mammoth Math. They have Beast Academy um, for advanced uh, math students. BJU, they have a Becca. So if you guys are looking for specific curriculums that fit and fit your kids' needs, there's lots of them out there. You just have to kind of do your research. So chapter 16 is pre-algebra. They're talking about negatives and positive numbers, and they show you on a lot in a number line, which I love. And then that's basically it. Usually they do like a whole review of the whole entire um they do a review in the whole entire book, but they don't do it in fourth grade. Okay. So this is just like the handbook. Um, it shows you all of the things that you might need help with. So for instance, geometry and your decimals, you might have questions about decimals. So you go to 340 and then it like explains it to the child. Sorry if it's crooked. So it explains decimals to the child if they need to, you know, look back at something and try to figure something out. So that's basically it. And I think, I don't know if they have an index or not. No, they don't have an index. So they just have that little, you know, thing in the back to like help them with some of the concepts that they've learned throughout the book. So that is what it looks like. It is not as thick as the other ones that she's done in the past because there's way more, um, way more problems on one page. There's 348 pages and there are 16 chapters. So usually there is like 20 to 22 chapters for the younger grades and my kids fly through those when they're younger. Um, but I guess the chapters get shorter as they get older and they get, they have more work. So what I might do this year, if it's just redundant and there's so much to do, I might do like odds or evens. If it's something she's not understanding, I'm going to have her do all of it. So I'll just play it by Let ear. Let me know, guys, if you have any ideas of videos that you want to see in the future. And I will write those down in my planner. And hopefully I'll get to those eventually. And I appreciate all your time. And I hope um, this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to just private message me or just leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.